this should be building. Yes. Okay. Testing. Yep. All right. This needs to be a little further. This needs to stop beeping. Hmm. Why is this being annoying? Stop being annoying. Maybe just X out of that for now. Maybe that'll help. Oh, it is on this Discord. Go away. There we go. That's better. Yep. All right. So, greetings, Athena here. Uh, with more, I am Setsuna. Um, I'm gonna start off by saying, uh, my times are going to be, uh, different. Um, from here on out. Um, I'm trying... Well, first off, I'm trying to figure out what times work best for me. And on top of that, uh, in less than a month's time, I think, now, give or take, uh, I'm going to be, hopefully, should be, uh, in a master's program. So, yeah, that's going to be hectic. Um, it might help if I actually... And I have my controller working, so that should make things easier. So, uh, stop being poisoned. That helps. So let me actually, now that I can actually navigate through the menu. Wow, that's so much better. Um, oh, look at that. It has like a little 3D thing of the, of the weapons. That's, that's cool. I like that. Um, so yes, this seems to be all around better than what I have. Currently, so that we will equip that. A rich little chakram versus a hairy shuriken. Uh, that one is all around better too, so we will use that. So, huh, interesting. Blue is the indication for upgrade, and the orangey red is not. That's interesting. It's normally the other way around. Um, I don't have a different dagger, so we will go there. Uh, eh, health could be better, but I'm not going to do. Um, okay, I, I understand now. Okay, I wasn't sure what the pictures meant. I was like, oh, this meant that means I don't have this equipped to anybody. But no, it means that. Okay, yeah. I gotcha. Um, weapons party. Pecs? What are pecs? Pecs, pecs. Uh, oh, right, right. So I can. Oh, yeah. So here, I can, like, use cure outside of the battle because that's smart. Um, hopefully the sound is okay because I can't really. Uh, do anything about it right now. Yeah, I don't think I have any spirit knight. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, that's... Wait. Is it because I'm next to a savey thing? Did this thing lie to me? Can I actually save anywhere? Oh, I can't. I was next to a thingy. That's why it was letting me do that. Oh, wait. A golden peppercorn. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, don't run away from a fight. <laughs> Need to be better with the, uh, uh, whatever that thing's called. Dang. Okay, maybe it's not... Maybe it's something else? Nope, not that. Hmm. I'm hitting... I'm hitting the right button, I think. No, don't poison breath me. God damn it. Okay. Uh, now 
lot of antidotes. Great. Awesome. Fan flippy tastic. Let me see here. Um Time freezes while you select items or text from the window, allowing you to carefully plan your battle. Active time placement in battle, allowing fast pace. The enemy may even attack while you're selecting items. I don't like that. Nope. Nope, don't like that. Um I was hoping I could get a list of... Hmm. Ah! Key config. Uh... This button? No. I don't think it'd be this one. Oh, it is! That's odd. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, X. That's, that's, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, that's pause. Interesting. Okay. Oh, poison. I don't like the poison. It's very anxious-inducing. An anxiety? Anxiety-inducing. That. That is the correct way of saying things. As you can see, I am using an analog now. Not so choppy. Give me the analog. Uh, where am I? Isn't this... No? I have no idea where I am. Other than the fact that someone is probably about to pass out from poison. Nothing over here. That's not what I wanted. Oh, but yeah, that works. Sure. Oops. Hmm. I think that's not the right button, but I don't know what else it could be. How odd. I'll figure it out. Uh. Hmm. I wonder if this is one of those things where... Yeah, okay, so it just puts my hit points down to one until it's cured. That's nice. Well, that was convenient. Oh, wait, didn't I get that cobbler before? Exploring territories. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Pure, purica? Is it purica or is it purica? Hmm. Don't know. Um, this must be the village that Nidir was talking about. Oh, my friends, you're all here. You're all safe. We met you on the ship. You're a traveling entertainer. I kind of want to say that, but no, you're from the Magic Consortium. Glad to see you remembered. Thanks for helping me out back on the ship. So you made it to the mainland safely, too. You're a lucky man. Well, I don't feel very lucky. All my cargo went down with that. Ooh, shit. That sucks. So I'm planning on setting up shop here for a while. Here, are you heading for the C Citadel? That's right. It seems we have a cr to cross a mountain to get there from here, though. Aha. Well, you don't need to worry about that. There's a series of caverns that leads to the Citadel. There is? 
Yes, the captain should be able to unlock the entrance for you. Oh, what a relief. Have you got everything you need for the journey? Make sure to stock up on items before you leave. If you have any materials that you got from monsters, please do sell them to the Magic Assortium. What, so you can sink them on a ship again? Uh, we always do our utmost to offer the best possible prices. Inside the village, you also find my fellow traders. There's a blacksmith, an apothecary, a chef. They're all inside the pub to the left of the village entrance, so please give them your business, too. Hmm. This part reminds me of a Final Fantasy song, but I can't pinpoint it. Listen to advice. Uh, members of the Magic Consortium are found in towns and villages across the land. These members will buy the materials that monsters drop, as well as receive gold. You can also obtain Spirit Knight Stones according to the materials you have previously sold. Ooh. Monsters will drop different items according to how you defeat them. Example, using the attack of a certain element, using a combo, using momentum mode attack, while they are inflicted with a status element with lots of excess damage or with just the right amount of damage. Uh, the Spirit Knight Stones you can obtain can be seen by selecting Obtain Spirit Knight. As you progress through the game, more will become available, so make sure you check back regularly. Hmm. I'll be back. Uh, ooh, we have a beard. My son's in the resistance, you know. Says he doesn't want to be a farmer like his old man. He's doing it to protect the village, I know that. I just always thought he'd follow in my footsteps. What is the resistance? Is no one wondering about that? Oh. Let's see. You look like a blacksmith. Weppy and tallies. Fluctuation. The character is equipped with a talisman with a flux bonus. Fluctuation will sometimes randomly occur when he or she uses a tech or combo in momentum mode. This allows you to power up the corresponding spirit knight stone by adding flux to it. There are various types of flux bonus. They can increase the power of techs. Reduce the amount of MP they use, fill the ATP gauge after use, and much more which bonus is granted will depend on which talisman is equipped. When fluctuation occurs during battle, the bonuses will be shown on the screen. Once the battle is over, you can then choose to add these bonuses to Spirit Knight Stones, allowing you to customize them as you wish. Alrighty. Oh, there's more. Okay. Um... Antipode. A dagger that emits the power of time. It adds time elemental damage to all attacks and also increases resistance against such damage. Mm. That's not bad. No, I'll buy that. Yeah, why not? Uh, ooh, lots of talismans. This earring is crafted in the shape of a three clawed beast clutching an orb. That sounds cool. Oh, there's so many things that I don't understand. Oh, dear. I feel like these sort of things make more sense after you're like, man, this keeps happening to me. Like, I keep getting poisoned or something, and then you find something that's like, hey, stop getting poisoned by using this item, sort of thing. Uh, didn't I already listen to advice from you? Yeah. So, can you temper- who- I wanna temper the items. Hogstone, what is the period to- yeah, I already read that. Uh, you. Want more of that, thank you. Probably should get some of these. Oh, chef! No food available. Alrighty. Who are you? Uh, irritate looking waitress. This is a bit much, don't you think? What to do what do they think this place is exactly? The man selling herbs I can just about understand, but a blacksmith? The chef's pleased because he can get his pots and his knives fixed on the spot, but really, come on. Ah. No tempering items. Okay, so I can't temper anything. Alright, fair enough. Uh. Inventory. No. Weapons. That's what I want. Azoth. An ancient dagger of great functional beauty. Its simple design makes it easy to use, but despite its high attack power, physical defense power is low. Ooh. 
This one's cool looking. What is this dagger the anti po to? Just everyone? I think I am understanding anti po correctly. Or antipode, maybe. Oh, I can just go. Hmm. I will sell things to you, because why not? Um, why is this green? Hmm. One second. Wait, what? Fire shield. Oh, is this telling me what I can use this for? So I don't want to sell this because I can use this for stuff? That's what I'm getting from this. I wonder if I have like a max... Enables use of cyclone. Offers a wide range attack and healing. I, and unless this is saying if I sell this, it will... Maybe that's what it's saying. Activates life force logic in battle. Uses magical energy to increase the bear's life force. That's nice. Insight. Cast provoke on a single target, causing you to move toward that character. Physical pride. Awakens light and energy in the bear's weapons. Ooh. That's nice. Blood splattered stone. Doesn't seem like it's. Dum, 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 dum. I have a little much health. Uh, ooh, lightning. Use magical energy to create a bolt of lightning. I like that. Let's do that. Um. Slow. That's nice. That sounds nice. Sorry, I have to keep focus on my phone. Oh! Sorry, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, sea gods, rainbow scale, save that. That seems important for other things. And I think that's it. So, so if I obtain spirit knight now, aha! Yes, I like this. Okay. Um. Physical pride. Um, ooh, so many options. Um, I like protect. Okay. No. Sorry, it's giving me Xbox controller things. I 
I am not using an Xbox controller. Um. Okay. Okay, so, uh, this button or this button? Aha! I figured it out. So I want one of these. Um, I want... It's so weird. It's a triangle. Okay, so... what What is X for the Xbox? Circle? Trying to remember just from, like... Hmm. Don't remember. Uh, and it use charges towards the enemy as super speed causes physical damage. Did I, did I get this one yet? I don't think so. Activates physical pride in battle. Physical... Alright, let's just let's just deal with that for now. Um so then we will take what we got and give it to people. Um dum 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 bum dum. Ah, I think certain people can no that's yeah, no, because yeah. Okay, so not everyone can learn here. Interesting. Oh wait, unless No? Wait, no, ah, dang it. Interesting. Oh wait, no, go back. Stop that. Dang it. Um, so no, you learn aura and then you die. Aha! I'm figuring out how things work. Right, and talismans give certain a number of the thingamadoohickeys. Um, those are words. Oi. Um. I need to do something about this damn poison. What do you get? No one's a match for the cap. I'm the second strongest around here, though. You're plump young man. Okay. Um, you. My old man wants me to be a farmer like him. That's not the life for me, though. Right now, I'm honing my skills in the resistance, but one day my name will ring out across the land. Uh, sure it will, buddy. Uh, so you met Nidder. He might not seem it, but everyone says he used to be pretty strong. It's a little hard to believe when you look at him now, though. Let me guess. He's the captain, isn't he? Hmm. Whoa. Ooh. Uh-oh. I was trying to find a... Um, yes, what is it? Are you the captain? Yes, I'm Freja. Freja? I want to say Freya, but Freja. Uh, something you find odd about my face, is there? Sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just never imagined that the captain would be a woman. Travelers, are you? We must... We want to get to... Polonia? I hope that's how you say it. Uh, the Citadel. You certainly don't look like any merchants I've ever seen. I can't just let a group of unidentified people through. If you want to get to Polonia, you'll need to explain yourselves. Is that the best you could come up with? It hasn't even been ten years since the last sacrifice. You're not lying. Have you not noticed? The monsters are more ferocious of late. Their numbers are increasing rapidly. Hmm. So that means that they're having to increase. That's not good. That means that they're having to increase the amount of sacrifices. That's not a good thing. If something isn't done soon, there will be dire consequences. That's why it was decided to send another sacrifice sooner than usual. Hmm, I see. And that sacrifice is you, is it? I too have sensed the monsters growing more ferocious. It is becoming harder and harder to deal with the ones near the town. Are the sacrificial rites losing their power? Or is something else a word? Array. Array? Array! That! That word. Yes. Uh, I have indeed been feeling a strange sense of unease lately. But that's only all the more reason for me not to let you through the frost caves. But why? The monsters in the frost caves are even more dangerous than those above ground. 
I am responsible for guarding this village, and I cannot send a sacrifice and a guard of just two to their deaths. So what should we do? I've been training up the youngsters around here as a resistance force. I want you to at least choose one of them to take with you. You've been training them? The monsters aren't going to wait around until things are convenient for us. We need to be ready to fight back at the at any time. Oh, okay, so they're resistance to the monsters? Uh, we met a man in the abandoned village near here. Is he part of the resistance too? Oh, so you met Nidir. Technically, he's a little different. He did once serve as part of the sacrifice's guard, but... Really? He accompanied a sacrifice? Oh, he didn't tell you? It was almost 20 years ago now. He didn't seem like the type. Having someone experience along would be a great help. You think he'd join us? I very much doubt it. He's not the man he once was. Oh, I see. I don't know what to do with him, to be honest. He hasn't been back to his hometown once since the pilgrimage. He's ended up staying here the whole time. Why's that? Well, maybe you should try asking him. Anyway, let me introduce you to my men. They should be out in the village square training as we speak. Come with me. I want to heal somewhere. Those who take up the sword, I think that is, achievement unlock. Can I sleep somewhere? Is there an inn or something? Oh. They can all hold their own. Want to test their metal? Alright, show us what you got. What do you mean? I hate to do it, but it looks like we've got no choice. Let's see what they've, what you've got. Huh? What for? You really are strong. We'll have you join as part of the sacrifices, sacrifices guard. What? Right now? Is that really true, though? You'll have us join the sacrifices guard? The three of you can come to us, or come at us at once. We'll start when you're ready. Are we really going to fight these guys? They look pretty tough. I really don't like the looks of that guy in the mask, either. No, I want to grow stronger. I'll show them what I've got, and I'll join the Sacrifice's Guard. Nidder's never been the same since coming back from the pilgrimage, though. Even if we do get a hero's welcome when we get back, if we end up like him... What are you, stupid? Just because Nidder ran himself down, it doesn't mean we will. I want to be a hero. I want to be spoken of in legend and myth. Yeah. Baby-faced young man, that's that's for sure. Uh, anyway, this might be the only chance we ever get to join a sacrifice, Sacrifice's Pilgrimage. What are you blabbering about? Hurry up and get yourselves ready. I'll do it. Alright, I'm with you. I'll be fine. He's just wearing that mask to look tough. Come on, let's get him. Looks like they're ready. I'm not. Well, that sucks. Ooh, that was nice. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Well, glad I got that. Ooh, it worked on everyone. That's on it. Maybe triangle. Nope. There it is. Square. Level up! Yay! It's no good. We don't stand a chance. I never imagined the sacrifices guard would be this strong. Yeah, on second thought... How pathetic. They really were no match for you, eh? Regrettably, they do indeed have little real combat experience. Can we go now, then? It's obvious no one here is going to get up or be up to scratch. No, there's only one person. Really? Where are they? 
standing right in front of you. You mean you'll come with us? Well, what choice do I have? If no one else is up to scratch, then I'll have to go myself. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> I'm not so long in the tooth that I need a whippersnapper like you worrying about me. I can still handle a sword just fine, thank you very much. I'll be able to hold my own, don't you worry. Thank you, it'll be a great relief to know that you're with us. Now that's settled, I need to get ready. Come on, what are you doing taking a nap? All of you, patrol duty, now. What, now? My legs, they won't let me. <laughs> we need to rest all, uh, we need the rest of the day off. Pull yourselves together. You're going to be defending this place by yourselves for a while. Sorry, but can you wait here? It won't take long. I need to go do a final patrol while I kick some life back into my men. Please rest yourselves at my place until I get back. Oh, yes. Oh. That was amazing. Or, that was amazing. I saw the whole thing. You guys are real damn strong. We need people like you in the resistance. So how about it, no? What a broccoli. Bro broccoli. Ha. <laughs> Uh, I can't speak worth the damn. Did I go in here? Yeah, I did go in here. Oh, that's cool. I never, never let the door shut before. Uh, what's? That's a chest. It's locked. Fuck you. I'm sure the resistance would be stronger if they ate more. Food's very important, you know. Uh, so that's a fair point. Uh, the resistance are a ragtag bunch. I can't imagine them being. Much help in a pinch. Ah, oh, she's not good. Did I talk to you? Oh, hell bean. The hell of the sky, not hell as in H E L. Uh, the resistance lack discipline. They need to work much harder. They should be out there training until their arms are sore, so sore that they feel ready to fall off. Then why don't you join and show them? Huh. I wonder if this village is really safe. The resistance aren't going to be able to protect us. Huh? Did you hear a noise? Ah, I gotta live in constant fear. That sucks. Bum, 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 bum. I'm not ready for things to progress yet. Or if it'll let me leave. Oh, it will. Cool. Save. What? Oh! January cabbage. Is it just the, like, time of year, or is it just, like, always snowy in this area? That's a big open field. Hmm. Orvald Plains. Oh. Person. Hi, person. Outdoor man. There... How are you not cold, dude? Uh, there were once many settlements on this island, both large and small, but little trace of them remains today. Many old customs and food traditions have been lost. It's up to us to try and carry them on. That's why I'm here, looking for traces of those settlements, looking for evidence of human life. Oh. This is an interesting spot. I mean, the music is very jubilant for the lack of anything. <laughs> oh. I didn't mean to leave, but okay. Didn't seem like there was much of anything there. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that is a foreboding-looking cave. I'm guessing those are the caves that I'm going to have to go into later. Man, this place is mountainous. Almost puts, uh... Yeah, Skyrim to shame. I wonder how far I can go in here before... Whoa. Ah, not far. It's locked. There's a door. Okay. And I wanted to do some battle. So weird to have this overworld map, but no battles. Dun, ba -da -da, ba -ba -ba -ba. Hmm. Uh, I want to see what's. I must explore everything first. Oh. Oh, is that co like is reproducing cobbler? Like what? Magical cobbler area. He's looking for human settlements. Why isn't he looking in that one? Let's see. Yeah, I came from... Oh! Square. Square... The square onion? Did I read that right? It's darker over here. What was that? Oh, snowflake. Never mind. It's the start of the game, and I'm like, secrets! Must find the secrets! Yeah, no, I don't want to go back to the shore. Mm, none. Not a thing. Alright, well, I guess I'll go back to the cabins. mentioned it before, but I love the snow. It's like, wee Circles! Yeah, I went up there. I went over there. Alright. Fine. Oh, I should save. Uh, this button. Oh. oh, of course she wouldn't be poisoned now because she was dead. Yeah, in trying to save my items, I ended up... Oh, let's take the captain up on her offer until she gets back. Not that we really have time to be sitting around. We've still got a long way to go. We need to take every opportunity we can to rest. Oh well, looks like we've got no choice. I wonder why he's never been back home, not even once. Maybe something happened on the pilgrimage. You mean Nadir? Yes. Say, how about we try asking Nadir to join us too? Why are you so insistent in him? Interested in him? Because he was, has experienced as part of a sacrifice as guard? Well, there's that, of course. I don't know, there's just something about him. Like, he needs our help, almost. Alright, let's think about it when the captain gets back. Alright. No, Tegan, don't you start. Don't you think she's taking a little long? Yes, you're right. She said she was going to go on a final patrol. Uh-oh. Help! Someone, please. Has something happened? Apparently so. That voice sounded like it came from the entrance to the village. Oh, off we go. Yeah. Captain. She'll live, but her wounds are pretty bad. Be careful carrying her. And don't you worry about them. They're just shook up. Of 
What on earth happened? A man carrying a huge scythe suddenly attacked us. The captain protected us, and now... I was just passing by and found the captain all beaten up. So I carried her on my back and dragged these three back here as, uh, as fast as I could. Damn it. Why did you run away? You should have fought him. You're, you're supposed to be a hero, aren't you? I barely managed to run. There's no way I would have stand a chance against a freak like that. Forget it. It's me who's the fool for thinking that you'd help. That man might still be in Serendale. I'll avenge the captain. I swear it on the name of the resistance. You dumbass. Hey, come on, wait. Damn it. <laughs> My sentiments, exactly. You two treat the captain's wounds. You can manage that much, can't you? <laughs> AKA, you're pathetic. Now, I'm telling you this for your own good. You should all get out of here. It seems that freak was after the sacrifice. And that's you, ain't it, miss? So you mean because of me, the captain. Don't let it get to you. That's just the way the sacrifice's journey is. So someone's trying to get in the way of the pilgrimage, eh? Sounds a little like someone else I know. Yeah, no knock. Even if we wanted to leave before we can't we can go anywhere we we ah, ha. before we can go anywhere, we need the entrance to the caves unlocked. And also, the captain said she was coming with us because our guard was too small. No chance. She's going to need complete bed rest. So what are we supposed to do? She said she wouldn't let us through unless we upped our numbers. Nidir, I hear that you once successfully accompanied a sacrifice on our journey. Can't you help us? Sorry, but my journey ended a long time ago. Once the captain wakes up, you get her to unlock the entrance to the caves and then be on your way. Now I have some business to attend to in Serendale, so excuse me. So what should we do? <laughs> yeah, follow after Nandir. Well, maybe you're right. I wasn't too sure about him when we first met him. But the way he brought the captain and the others back like that. He's strong and he can obviously keep his head in an emergency. But even if we do go after him, you'll think he'll agree to join us? I want to talk to him more. It's like he's carrying some sort of burden. That's the feeling I get. I think that might have something to do with why he won't join us. Anyway, if we don't do something, that man who attacked the captain will hurt more people. I know Nidir said what he did, but I don't want people to suffer because of me. Sorry for being so stubborn. No problem. Oh, how like you, Setsuna. Alright, let's follow after Nidir. And if I'm pronouncing anything wrong, I apologize, but... Yeah. Names. to Serendale. Whoa! That scared me for some reason. Wow. Very Orin. <laughs> wow. You don't think he, the fact there aren't many monsters around here could be... Hmm, probably thinks to Nidder. Yes, I think so too. So that's why he was so tired the first time we met him. Is this what he's been doing ever since he came back from the pilgrimage? But why would he do that? Hmm. <sighs> to hide something? I don't know. I don't think he's necessarily hiding anything. I mean, maybe he is, but... It's probably more guilt-oriented. But anyway, to protect the village. There's that, of course, but I think there's another reason, too. The people of the village think that their peaceful lives are thanks to the sacrifice. Nidor never went back home and st stayed here fighting off the monsters. Could that be because he didn't want anyone to doubt that the sacrifice was protecting them? If so, that might just mean we'll need to check that last part with the man and himself. Yes, right, let's go. <laughs> never ending cobbler. Oops. Why 
does his swords glow? It's interesting. Miniature cherry root. Save all the time. Wait, did I never go this way? Ooh. So do they just always self-destruct? Seems like it. Ooh, a golden gem. Oh no, I've been here before. Ooh, I'm getting all sorts of thingies. Oh man, the extra, they left a mark in the snow. That's so cool. Uh, a dodge flower. <laughs> Let's see here. Dang the damn self-destructs. Momentum kills. Definitely add a lot more fun to the battle. Doesn't someone know lightning? Yeah, you do. Ooh. Oh, so close. Light cedar root. Sleep barbell. Uh, where am I going? Doesn't this leave out of the village? Nope. I am confused about where I am going. So I definitely don't think I'm going the right way. Doesn't feel like I'm going the right way. Nope. I am turned around. that would do oh there wow what is he doing you're in the way there come on there's no need to be like that a man can take a walk can't he 
What exactly is it you're always doing anyway, wandering around the fort like that? Hero, ha. You should try taking a leaf out of the captain's book. Haha, <laughs> you got me there, kid. Can't argue with that. The captain once said you were the most trust trustworthy man she knew. I trusted you too, I looked up to you, but now? Trustworthy, eh? Nah, that ain't me, I'm afraid. Um, Knitter? What is it? Is, it the ca is the captain awake? Please let me ask you once more. Please join us on our journey. I already told you my answer. Sorry, but no can do. My journey is over. That's not true. If it, if it is, then why didn't you return home from the pilgrimage? Why didn't I return home? There has to be a reason. A reason? Ever since you returned from the pilgrimage, you've been driving away all of the monsters that go near the fort, haven't you? Why would you do that? To hide the truth. Keep the truth hidden? If the pilgrimage was completed successfully, there shouldn't have been in that many monsters. But it wasn't, and that's why you had to keep on fighting them off. And that's because the pilgrimage of the sacrifice that you accompanied was a failure. Really, the pilgrimage was a failure. That's why you couldn't go back home. So you stayed here and continued fighting off the monsters. To stop the people worrying and make them think the effect of the sacrifice was still continuing. But this is no longer Purica's problem alone. At this rate, the whole of the mainland will soon be filled with monsters. Don't you want to complete your journey? Please, we need you. We need your strength. Come on, stop it. I ain't got no such strength to give. I can't protect you. Hey, is what she just said true? How could you? You mean you've been tricking us all this time? How low can you get? Hero, give me a break. You're a coward. That's what you are. A coward and a liar. I... I just... Hey, what what's going on? Oh! Reaper! Get behind me. No chance. I don't need to hide behind the likes of... You're going to die. Just be quiet and do as I say. If you don't want to die, that is. I have found you, Sacrifice. You mean this is the freak who attacked the captain? Neither get him to somewhere safe. Leave this to us. What do you mean? You need to run, too. No, we shall fight. I got a bad feeling about this. Reaper kills Sacrifice. Who is this man? Be careful, both of you. With protect. Wow. those momentums in there. This guy honestly has me very scared. Jeez, this guy is so creepy. I don't know what that means. Uh, who needs it more? Yeah. 
Man, I keep missing the momentum thing. Okay. Oh, I did it! I honestly wasn't sure I could do it. Is that it? Oh. Tuna, I think there's one down. Tougher than I imagined, but this is the end. And dear, this is the end. Get your hands off them. The sacrifice must be destroyed. Think I'm gonna let you? What? And dear. Oh, cool. Seems this body's not yet perfect. The fuck was that? He's gone. Thank you, Setsuna. You saved our lives. I'm so glad you're both safe. I was so desperate. I. You guys are incredible. That freak didn't stand a chance against you. And apparently he did. Are you hurt? No, thanks to you. Why didn't you run? I couldn't just run away and leave them behind. Even if your guard are killed, you must save yourself and escape. That's one of the laws of the pilgrimage. But they promised me, they promised me they'd see my journey through to its end. So in turn, I must protect them, and to do that, I must fight. I must make sure that we all reach the last lanes together. I see. Can't be an easy job of guarding a sacrifice like this, eh? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Anyway, we're going back. I don't know what the captain did to me if any of her precious men were to get hurt. But Nadir, come on, let's go. Indir, when the man attacked us, you didn't run away. You got to your feet, ready to protect Setsuna to the very end. I almost did run away, actually, but no. Don't worry about it. Well, thanks. It puts my mind at ease a little to hear that. Come on, let's head back to Perica for now. I'm not a bad guy. I was just curious about the sacrifice. That's why I went there. That's why I'm going to point your nose anyways. Oh wait, where am I going? I need to go north. I was caught up like watching the lines I was making in the snow. Oh jeez, that startled me a little bit. see a point in selling ones that I already have like a bunch already. Bonus and keep insanity. Oh, there, there's the slots. Chain of newborn cries. Necklace made from the seeds of the 
Jiura tree. Its name comes from the sound of the night breeze against the seeds, which resembles a newborn cry. That's creepy! Tech power, AT bonus, support bonus. Momentum recovery. Mmm. Hmm, it's hard to, like, figure out which ones are good, because it's like... Can I... No, I can only equip one at a time. I mean, but, I mean, why wouldn't I just get this one, since it has, like, a two slot? I mean, there's the flux bonus, but... I don't really understand how that works enough yet. Hmm. I mean, you would think the ones that are more expensive would be better? I mean, that's normally logic in video games, yes, maybe? You have any food? No? Well, you are a crappy chef! Alright, more talkies. I heard about it from my man. You got rid of that man with the scythe, eh? I'm impressed. Perhaps you'd be fine without a guard. Although that won't be happening, of course. Are you all right now? You'd... you'd... Bah, you're not hurt? Oh yes, I'm fine. Twenty fractured bones, maybe. Nothing serious. Are you sure you really want... You're, you're really what you'd call fine? I saw that look on your face. She's only gonna slow us down. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Honestly, honesty is a quality I admire. If you leave the village and head northwest, you'll come to the Frost Caves. Lorena is on the other side. I'll be waiting at the entrance, so head there once you're ready. Let's just get her to unlock the entrance and then head on by ourselves. We don't need anyone holding us up. Where did Nadir go? Can I rest here? So the pilgrimage was a failure. I can't believe it. Why would he lie about something like that? He was bound to get caught at once the monster started increasing. Sure is a lucky coincidence that the numbers haven't increased yet. You're not bright, kid. Have you heard? The pilgrimage was a failure. I had my suspicions all along. We're pretty lucky that the village hasn't been overrun by monsters by now. I knew it all along, you know. Nadir's been fighting off the monsters every single day. He made me promise not to tell anyone, though. Imagine doing all that and keeping it a secret. I'm trying to, uh, be cautious about, it's so that time, if, if my dog's gonna go berserk and bark up a storm, it's going to be now, during this time period, which is one of the reasons why I normally don't do it, but stream during this time period, that is. Okay. I've gotta work on my talking endurance. <laughs> Is that a thing? Talking endurance? Alright. Looks like you're ready to go. Um, about that. Here, here you are, finally. Or were you really planning on letting an injured woman join the sacrifice on, <laughs> on her pilgrimage? I just came to see them off. I see. The thing is, though... There's no longer a place for you here in Purica. I told everyone the truth, you see. The time had finally come. So you knew all along. Mm, it feels like a great weight's been lifted from my shoulders. Damn it. How did I end up with such a meddlesome master? You're his master? You're looking pretty good in age. <laughs> it is me who has been cursed with a stubborn student. 
Unable to forgive yourself for failing to protect the sacrifice, you punish yourself by continuing to fight and fight and fight. The regret of having to let the sacrifice die keeps you chained to the past, but you won't find the answer you seek by continuing to guard Purika. If there is indeed an answer to be found, you will only find it in the last, last lands. You will only find it once you see the sacrifice's journey through to its end. Isn't that so? <laughs> Phew, I made it. You're... You're still my... You're still this village's hero. It doesn't matter if the pilgrimage was a failure or not. You've been protecting all of us all this time. Just like now when you protected me from the man with the scythe. You've been fighting alone, protecting us all. And to think I called you a coward, I'm sorry. It's not just the village, either. You wanted to protect your hometown, too. That's why you stayed here and continued fighting off the monsters. However, I'm afraid holding off the monsters here will no longer suffice. The time has come. Heh. <laughs> Nothing's getting by you, does it, Master? Besides, I know you're not going to let this young lady fight to save everyone's future by yourself. Oh! <sighs> that was scary. <laughs> wow. This is the end of your time as the village's hero. Isn't that right? Yeah, you're right. But I'll still be here in spirit. I want you to pick up where I left off and keep on protecting the village. Really? You'll come with us? If you want my help, I'll be happy to give it to you. As long as that's alright with you. <laughs> Glad to have you. Thanks. I promise to protect Setsuna no matter what. I'll take care of things. Don't worry. The next time you return, you will finally finish your journey. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, is this like the type? Seems like it. Oh, cool. I want to try and keep like an even level. Wow. Oh, damn you. Is there a way for me to move? Doesn't seem like it. Freaking poison. Yeah, I thought so. Oh no. Can I like unequip? Awesome. Basu, you're making me nervous. Stop staring at me. Oh, what's over here? Oh, this is how I get lost. <laughs> So shiny there.
fluff shroom. It's a fluffy shroom. A shroom that is fluff. Man, that's so cool. And he blows up. Well, that's awkward. And probably, yeah. Ow. Ah. Oh, another thingy. You guys are just determined with that damn poison! This guy is very Orin. Stove asparagus? Did I read that right? Or is it stone? Stone would make more sense. But I could have sworn I read stove. You know what would be nice? A map. No map? Because I would love a map. Is there a button that will give me a damn map? No? models of that. That is cool. Oh yeah, she she doesn't look a bit older up close. It's hard to tell when all you can see is the top of their red hair. Thingy! The monster is well known, or the most well known of all monsters. It is found across the land. There's also a high degree of interest specific variation. Lovely. Its wings have evolved to make them suited to deliver powerful slap attacks and, in exchange, have lost the ability of flight. You're so creepy! Kind of reminds me of a heartless. Uh. It can also use focus. Okay, that's cool. So it tells me how killing it in different ways gives me what items. That's nice. Oh! It was different. Jabu. Jabu. You're creepy. A ferocious monster that craves combat above all else. Although not a spe species native to him caught island. At some point, the creature came to inhabit its woods, perhaps traveling over hidden among the cargo of the fairies that sailed to the island. Specializes in claw attacks. Includes 
It is known to inflict critical hits more frequently than other monsters. Sea monsters. Walumpa. Walumpa. Do. A rotund beast that has built up its blubber reserves to the point of obesity. It moves incredibly slowly, but is also incredibly powerful. One example of this power can be seen in its super slap. Although the prince will know different than the attacks used by pingies and the like, the creature's strength combined with its immense weight creates a knockout blow. Similar, it can use a simple jump to generate a tremor that causes damage to all foes. It will drop iron sand if defeated with an exact kill. Scullion. Looks like he's clapping. He's like, you, yay! Uh, the monster with outstanding defense ability, thanks to the spiral shell formed from its hardened body fluids. Mmm, boy. That it carries on its back. Its name comes from the shell's pattern, which resembles a human skull. Nah, no, duh. It is an ad advisable to swiftly defeat the creature before it can use shield shield. Shell shield. Shield shield. Shield shield. Shield shield. Shield shield. Shield shield. Shield shield. To retreat into its shell and further strengthen its defenses. Caution must also be paid to its shell boomerang attack in which uses its hardened shell as a throwing weapon. Will drop an unknown bone if yada yada yada. Poison puff puff. Oh look, it's little feet. It's little feet. Are, you like uh, a little monster that generates and stores poisonous gases inside its body. Like it's such a weird mixture of cute and menacing. Like yeah, look at. Oh my god, look at the spots. They're like little faces. Kind of going like. Uh... Take care of approaching the creature as it may use poison breath to release sap, inflicting toxic gas. However. It is its self-destruct attack that cries the most caution. The creature will ignite the gases inside its body, thus triggering a huge explosion. This will be avoided at all costs. This is to be avoided. It will drop a uh, punctured sheet metal. What the hell do you pronounce that? Schwarzstorm? Schwarzstorm? Uh-huh. Let's call you Water Horse. Uh, the monster that attacked the Nive Florina Fairy, it is a huge beast with an elongated neck covered in jet black scales, and the length of its body eclipses that of a fairy ship. Its mere movement creates huge waves, and it has sunk many a ship. It seems fully aware of its own power, and its attacks appear almost mocking. These include Body Slam directed at the ship and Big Bite directed at its passengers. All attacks had little effect on the creature, and in the end, the fairy was sunk by its tidal wave attack. Oh. So, I'm going to see this again, is what you're saying. Yes. That is... What is a shadow kill? Winged monsters. A white flapper. Uh, a flying creature that beats its huge wings to stray, stay airborne, supporting its fellow monsters from above. Its wingtips extend into skeletal structures akin to those of human fingers. What?! That's creepy. Which it uses to make gestures akin to ones used by sorcerers, thus increasing the potency of its magic. If a fellow monster's HP grows low, a white flapper will use cure to heal it. It is thus advisable to dispose of the creature before turning one's attention to other monsters. Hoot hoot. That's a Pokemon. The Pokemon is much cuter. You are concerning. You are not my kin. Uh, the Hoot Hoot is in fact found all across the land but it's seldom spotted because it loathes the eyes of humans when a human meets its eye it will use blinding gaze to inflict stun then seize its chance to fly swiftly out of view will drop bead beach branch if defeated light wind oh yes i remember you wow you're so cool looking uh the gigantic airborne monster that attacked the nigh village the creature flies through the Strat stratosphere swooping down to earth at incredible speed when it gets wind of prey. Mm. It is responsible for the destruction of countless villages. Wow. It attacks by taking in deep breaths, combusting the inhaled oxygen internally, and then releasing it as burning breath. Furthermore, this attack is used when the oxygen is only partially combusted, and when fully combusted, combusted 
the creature can unleash the truly fearsome blazing breath. Demon foes. Plump young man, a member of the resistance. He has a slightly overweight physique. He attacks using a sword, but his skill with it is still much to be desired. Uh, he has a sharp look in his eyes and is probably the best looking member of the resistance. <laughs> he attacks using a sword. When he looks, loses his cool, he has the ability of attacking repeatedly with swipe. Remember, he was a, he has a very young face and takes great offense at being mistaken for a child. He attacks with sword. When concentrating, he has the habit of losing sight of his surroundings, causing him to attack repeatedly with slash. The Reaper. Oh. What is that strange device? A mysterious man who wields a scythe. He suddenly attacks to sacrifice his guard in the town of Serendale. He seems to see nothing but the enemy before him and simply slashes single-mindedly with his scythe. Well, you get a little bit more than that. Oh! All the different swords I have. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Holy shit. The forging process behind the sword is passed down uh, the, uh, the Snow White down to all the mass tribe. All members forge their own swords when they begin working as mercenaries. Its blade is made from a special metal that Responds to the forger's magical energy, thus preventing anyone else from equipping it. Wow, that's cool. Uh, in return, it provides incredible ease of use. It boasts an excellent balance between offensive and defensive ability and is perfect for solo combat. Windrider. Uh, the sword has been forged entirely from an ultra-hard, lightweight metal known as le Levisium. Levisium? I need Hermione. Uh, although... Levy is well known among blacksmiths. It is difficult to process using current technology. A few other people know of it. The focus of this sword's forger was clearly on usability, and although it is somewhat lacking in terms of attack power, it makes up for this in defensibility. Its light lightness means that the user can move more swiftly and dodge sudden attacks. Ugh. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and read some of these later. Boy. Oh, wait. No. I still wanted to look, though. Like, what's... Oh! That's cool. It tells you how many shiny spots there are. Oh, okay. And so these are like... Oh, monsters. Beasts that feed on magical energy. Many monsters will often attack humans. And their settlements and their feared and hate across the land, their numbers and ferocity begin to increase every ten years or so. And if the sacrificial pilgrimage fails, their attacks on towns and villages will grow more intense. When this happens, they will sometimes destroy some villages completely. It is said that long ago monsters did not exist, but the validity of these claims is uncertain. Um, the sacrificial guard, special guard formed in order to see the sacrifice of the last lands. The guard is absolutely essential to the pilgrim's success. It is not made up of a set of number of people. It's a number is decided based on the ability of its members. However, the last lands are a perilous place and can only be crossed by those who possess extremely high magical energy. Wait. But monsters eat magical energies. Oh. I think I see where this is going already. So, one second. A custom that has been carried down. In order to appease the savage monsters, the chosen sacrifice travels to the last lands to perform the sacrificial rites. It is customary for females to be chosen as they generally possess greater magical energy than males. Up until now, these rites have been carried out once every ten years. It is said that once the sacrifice fulfills her duty, the threat of the monsters will disappear, bringing peace to the mainland and the surrounding islands. The vast majority of people, therefore, regard the sacrifice with great esteem and will do their best to aid them on their journeys. However, few people today have know the reason why the sacrifice rites appease the monsters. Okay, and as a result... There are also those who doubt the effectiveness of the sacrifice. And monsters, beasts of fetal magical... Uh-huh. 
Well, if I put two and two together, so then, oi, that's gruesome. I'm, I'm guessing the sacrifice, it basically, you were just giving the monsters a meal, it seems like, until, until there's nothing left, and then they go about, that's why they leave every ten, that's why it's every ten years, give or take. I mean, that's the thing that makes the most sense right now. I mean, I'm just speculating, but... Magical energy and an ah, inert source of spiritual power that is said to flow within all living things. Magic or text are performed by releasing focused magical energy from the body. The power and properties of each being's magical energy vary greatly. However, the days when the majority of humans are able to make use of their magical energy have long passed, and today most have lost this ability. As a result, magic users are now extremely rare. Hmm. Hmm. The Mass Tribe, a tribe whose members have made their living as mercenaries. Some say the Mass people originally came to this land from across the sea, while others say that they are, in fact, the mainland's oldest indigen ah, living people <laughs> that live there originally. <laughs> the tribe's true history, however, shrouded in mystery. Its people are renowned for their incredible physical and emotional strength, take great pride in their way of life, which capitalizes on the strength. Some of them live for combat, while others value their duty to their clients above all else. It is not even certain how many of the tribes still survive today, or how many of its members are active as mercenaries. The resistance, a resistance force formed in the village of Pirica. It is led by Freya. Most of its members are regular young people from the village, and although the captain trains them daily, they are not what you would call a reliable combat force. Many of them also lack enthusiasm, especially when compared to the fever, fervor of the captain. Oh, yeah. Magical Consortium, an organization that buys and sells goods around the mainland and the surrounding area. Their presence is extremely important for people who live in dangerous areas, but there are also rumors that suggest the organization possesses another far more sinister side. No! A consortium of magic having a sinister side? Never! Even objects that may appear worthless to the untrained eye can prove to be valuable research materials for the consortium's members. Although the technology to create spirit Spirit Knight from scratch was lost long ago, the Magic Consortium are able to use such materials to create copies from the originals in their possessions. Um. Oh. That's so sad. Weppy and Tally is a business founded by Weaponsmith Weppy together with his good friend Talisman Maker Tally. Tally later lost his life in an unfortunate accident, and Weppy now travels the land to fulfill his partner's dream of seeing the faces of happy customers everywhere. That's so sad. Pubs. Although known as pubs, these establishments generally focus mainly on food rather than alcohol. In some villages, when stepping inside, you might even wonder if you were really in a pub at all. They were originally created to provide meals from the, for the whole village, when food supplies were extremely scarce, but today this tradition only continues in a few select villages. However, villagers are still able to eat at pubs for free, while travelers must pay. The chefs found inside will cook up any dish for free, however, if given the recipe, can also provide rare dishes. Oy, what is this one? Oh, okay, this is just a... This is the recap of the story. Of. The land of snow. The mainland and the surrounding area are sealed off from the outside world, cloaked in a blanket of snow. Despite these harsh conditions, the people have a great fondness for the snow, and they believe that it heals the wounded land. In Nye Village, it has long been believed that the souls of those who give their lives a sacrifice return as the snow and falls upon the land. Uh... Fairies, the water surrounding the mainland, are characterized by very unstable water conditions and are inhabited by many monsters. Accordingly, fairies only operate on a few set routes. It is also not unusual for the entire sea to become frozen over, thus re <laughs> rendering fairy services inoperable. As a result, it's difficult to plan journeys by sea in advance. Uh, shining spots. In ingredients can be obtained by examining these spots. Apparently, to the well-trained eye, edible ingredients appear to shine. However, things that people have dropped can also sometimes be mistaken for ingredients. 
The fresh ingredients obtained from Shining Spots can be used in different lo local dishes, unique to the region they are found in. Yada, 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 yada. Combat. Oh, here's the things I need. Okay. Okay. Oi. What is this? Uh-huh. Items, key items. Materials. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, don't tell me this is gonna have like a long thing to you. I mean, not that like it's really cool, but it's just oh wait, so much reading. Okay, so main characters. Yeah, that mask is creepy as hell. Which I think is the point, but still. Hmm. The models are really cool. Jeez, man, you have had a harsh life. Okay. Well. Oh! Hi! How's it going? You're big. This your cave? This thing's the reason why the captains didn't want to let you through with a guard of just two. I mean, I'm sure great numbers would make it easier to let the sacrifice escape alone. But if we can't even make it past here, we ain't gonna get anywhere. Some mold turtle thing. Here it comes. <coughs> oh, shit. Sorry. One second. Okay, sorry about that again. Okay. Uh, now I gotta do stuff. That did eight damage. Holy crap. That'll help. Maybe. Oi! Oh, that seems like that did a lot. Uh oh. Oh, jeez.
antidote on her. Use an effort on him. She stopped doing that. Oh. Boom. Yeah, how do you like that? Oh, but you stopped doing that shit. He's kind of making it easy for me since he's not actually attacking, he's just hiding in his damn shell. Awakened power. Okay, don't know what that achievement's for. Oh! I guess you got tired of doing that. Oh no, wait till it gets to 10. Phew, so once we get through here, we'll be in three. Yeah, that's right. Let's go, we need to make up for lost time. There is, yeah, the, yeah, I already can. The thing's set. Oh, gosh dang it. I clicked that too fast. Man, I would kill for a map right about now. Sir, I don't like that. Damn, poison breath. Oh yeah, no, he's level 10. Wasn't he level 9? Do my non-active party members get experience? Okay, let's see. Got to explore the entire cave. This is what I've got to do. Aha! Yeah, that's what you do. Damn block chests everywhere. Oh. oh 
my god. Ooh, good, that hits multiple. Oh, there's another chest over there, but that one doesn't look blocked. Provoke. I don't want that. Well, I could want that. Depending upon the circumstances. Did I go down here? I don't know. I, don't, I need a map. Let's see. That's this is this is where I came in. Yes. I wish I had a map. have a map. Do I really not have a map? Key items. Map. I wish. Yeah, that's what I was originally looking for. <sighs> Let's I. Oh! Oh, thank you for telling me about that. And hi, Priscilla. Um... Yes, I am using a controller. How are you today? I'm leaving. <gasps> well, that that's a good thing to have fixed. Definitely not a good thing to have broken. I think that was King Onion. I need to stop doing that. And I think that means I've been streaming this entire time with the mouse on the damn screen. Times like this, I wish that sort of thing bothered me as much as it would bother my husband. He doesn't understand how things like that don't bother me. I don't even notice. What a strange place this is. Um. Hmm. As well as the months. As well as the monsters, the spa spatial distortions have also been causing lots of problems for humans. Why are you talking as if you're not a human? Is this some trial, some test of humanity strength, or is it the portent of doom? I pray every day, I pray that the monsters and distortions are not here to bring about humanity's destruction. Okay, strange naked man in a random sauna in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, sorry about that, Priscilla. And sorry about the weird times that are going to be happening for the next long while. What a strange little bridge. Save. Yeah, this is so weird to me that I didn't even notice my mouse like that. It's... That is a strange rabbit. Hope this isn't a. Uh... Oh. Killer rabbit scenario. What is it? Why can I not think of the. Oh, jeez. 
Yeah, I am on very early. <laughs> um, yeah, I mentioned at the start, but of course, I don't think anyone was here. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna be messing with times and stuff. And hard to think and talk at the same time. Yeah, well, that's not true. Um, oh, geez. Yeah, my, my times are going to probably be weird all week. Um, though I don't know, it might be more than just this week. Uh, I definitely, because I, I should be starting my master's program soon, and my times are definitely going to be significantly different uh, when that happens. So. Oops. I am using wrong buttons. Yeah, I'm going to be attempting, at least, uh, to get a master's in microbiology, but it's an accelerated program, so I'm going to be working my ass off for the next year. So, you'd think that would mean that I wouldn't stream, but I actually think that streaming would... Wow. That was cool. Um, work better for me because I have a tendency to work too much and not take any time off for myself so this will make me have like force myself to have at least like a two hour stretch each day that I have to stop and do something else. At least that is my plan. We will see how well that actually works. Oh, so many bunnies. Man, that's so cool. Ooh, that's a lot of items. I'm okay with that. Oh, that L looks different. Oh, well, he's gone. Polyester onion? What the hell does that mean? Real life is more important, but uh, if you're not careful, you can also let it kick you in the ass. I speak from experience. And I have no intentions of letting school kick me in the ass around this time. Though that doesn't mean that it won't, but... Where am I going? I'm pretty sure I 
I'm supposed to go to that citadel area before. I'm, I'm surprised it's letting me go this far. Ah, huh, shiny. Lonely mushroom. Okay, so you can see those things before the sound happens, but it's just really hard to do. Tinderville. Yeah, I hear that. This is Tinderville. The sick, the injured, and anyone with nowhere left to turn to, they can all live here in peace. And it's all thanks to the great benevolence of Lord Avalo? Avalo? Yeah. Sure, we'll go with that. Anything here? Even if the sacrifice keeps on going to the last lands, it won't change anything. It's pointless. They should just stop the whole thing. No matter how many sacrifices go there and die, it won't make a bit of difference. I mean... It, it does seem like the literal definition of nomads eel mushroom. The definition of insanity, just doing the whole same thing over and over again and hoping for a different result. I know, let's all go on a picnic. We can sit by the bank of Rainbow Lake and sing along with the songbirds. Then when night falls, we can go on Sugar Hill to look at the stars. Oh, doesn't that sound marvelous? I just know the children will love it. Oh. She's a good singer, though. Aha, a new residence, are you? Huh? You're not? Bah. I don't need to waste my time talking to you, then. Oh, pff, rude. I wish I had some friends. Even when kids my age do come to live here, they all leave just when I'm getting to know them. Oh. Do they leave on their own, or do they leave because of the fact that they're dead? Oh. Oh. Puppins! Mithril. I should have bought these first. I'm not sure what all I should sell. Hold on to those other things for now. Give me weapons. Um. I could sell some of these extra ones that I have. Oh wait, I wonder. Do these cost? Wait, so do they just give these out for free after you sell enough? Hmm. So I don't see a prize. Oh yeah, usable by this person. Okay. Oh, aerial strike. What a seed. I don't 
never want that one anyway. Let me talk to these others first and see. Can you actually make something now? No? Well, screw you. Further 5k, yeah. I have a lot of stuff to sell, though. If this person will talk to me again, thank you. Um... Some of these I should definitely save, though. See, I need. Hmm. Dang it. Okay. Ooh. Uh, a light sword imbued with the power of time. It adds time elemental damage to all attacks, increases resistance against such damage. A chakra made with a focus on protecting its owner's life. It heightens reflexes. It's strong against physical attacks and boosts the evasions rate. That's nice. Oh, you are the one I don't have anything to vanquish. Ooh. Uh, an ancient broadsword originally for ceremonial use, now repurposed as a weapon. It provides an excellent balance between attacks and defense. Sounds good. I don't know if I'm Doctor Who, but I guess w time will tell. Music changed. Dines. Aha, new residence. I am Dines, an old man with a lot of free time. If there is anything you wish to know about life here in the village, I shall be happy to tell you. Um, is that it? Okay. I have a feeling will be important later. Time will tell. Yes, time will tell. Time will tell if I'm master over time. Uh, I'm happy, I think. My family, my friends, my lover, they're all gone now. But I'm still alive. I try to just be grateful for that. That's sad. This is a very sad village. Tale of Fortune. Wait, I went in there. Oh, I'm making myself lost. Wait, no, I went in here. Stop that. Oh. If I stay here, I don't even have to work. Oh. Where else are you gonna find a paradise like this? Nowhere, that's where. You know what's crazy? Some people leave here. What are they thinking? Oh, you're a pleasant person. There aren't many people left here now. We need some replacements. How about you folks? Wanna live in this wonderful village? That's creepy. Hmm. Smiling aid. Lord Avalo is such a kind man, he just can't bear to see people suffer. If people can become just a little healthier, just a little happier, well, that's all Lord Avalo wants in return. Uh huh. Snowflake peppercorn. Hmm. Oh. 
Now if I could just find something to attack. I'm gonna have to go get food soon. I am very hungry. Oh! I was just clicking X. Bum, 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 bum. I guess if I go back through the forest then. Yep, bunnies and stuff. Oops, hit the wrong button. Wow. That'll do it. Oh, shiny. Another polyester onion for polyester onion purposes, apparently. I don't even know if I explored everywhere here. Uh, the the D&D game uh, was interesting um, and in that campaign I played a halfling thief not a wood elf actually I don't think we did we have an elf? yes we did I don't remember hmm we had some new people over that was a uh, Playing. So, and new as in they were new to D&D, so we were trying to get them accustomed. So it was, wasn't part of our long campaign, it was part of a one-shot. Oh, don't do that. Would you stop doing that? Don't you do it! Bless you. Um, that's actually not a uh, bad assumption to make. Um, just because the fact that Bethesda, you know, Sky or Elder Scrolls in general was like their D and D game, and they just turned it into a video game. But video or D and D is about as versatile. Or not versatile as you make it. The whole point is just, you know, to have fun. So, if you prefer to... Uh, stop calling for reinforcements. So, if you prefer to, you know, play by the book, not add any new rules or anything, and, uh... You know, do stuff like that, that's fine. Um, a lot of people like to mess with it at least a little bit and create their own worlds. Um... I say a lot of people. I guess I don't know that for sure. But the group definitely makes the game because you know, if you if you go in with a group that doesn't have like-minded ideas of how to play or what 
I don't know. You, basically, everyone just kind of needs to understand what it's everyone wants zero. from the game and be upfront about it, so... You're not wasting anyone's time, and it'll also take care of any frustrations that might happen. And you also need to make sure that you and the DM are on page of what you want. Of course, like, a good idea of D&D, &D, to a point, um, well, a type of D&D, &D, I guess I should say, is always the show Critical Role. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of it. I mean, it's pretty popular nowadays. Crushing Force Achievement. <laughs> Infinite Tactics Achievement. Okay. Moment of Truth achievement. Why am I getting so many achievements? Oh, well, I mean, uh, Critical Role is really interesting and popular because of, uh, and there's a lot of content there. Um, Basically, um, <laughs> basically, as Matt, the DM, puts it, you know, a bunch of nerdy-ass voice, voice actors get together and play Dungeons & Dragons. So, everyone there is... You've heard their voice somewhere, probably. Um, or seen them on a TV show, if we're talking about Ashley. Because she's the nerdy girl from... Oh, what's that show called? Blindside? I, I keep trying Blind to say Blindside. Huh? Blindspot. Blindspot. You can see how interested I am in the TV show. Um, I'm gonna go back through and get that weapon. Uh, let's see, and then... Um, Pat Mercer does a lot of voices, but... um. Of course, the first one that comes to mind is uh, Jesse McCree from Overwatch. Um, Travis does a lot of different voices, too. Um, he's uh, the goblin guy, though, from Heroes of the Storm. Um, Laura does a lot of different World of Warcraft stuff. But uh, she's Jaina Proudmoore. Know that much. Um, oh, she's also... Um, oh, shoot. What is that girl's name? Uh, she plays a character in Saints Row, and she... Sorry. Um, plays the female... One of the female main characters in, um... Fire Emblem Awakening. And then, uh, there's Liam. He does a... Because there's, there's a lot of different voice, voices that they do that, you know, is, you know, this person from this anime or cartoon show. But, uh, I will always know Liam O'Brien for Illidan, because that is when I started playing World of Warcraft, though I don't play it anymore. I stopped in 7.2. <laughs> or anything else you just mentioned. Well, yeah, but you probably have heard the voices or something. There's, there's other things. I just, it, it's so hard to. For me, it's a lot easier to mention various video games, but I know that they do a shit ton of anime. Um, Sam Regal's there. He is the voice of Phoenix Wright. Um, Alfino from the first bit of Final Fantasy XIV. And, uh, he's most known, though, for- he does a lot of, uh, voice directing for the Disney Channel. Yeah. 
Um, have you ever heard anyone mentioning something about not being prepared? Like, you are not prepared. Because that that's uh, World of Warcraft. That's Liam O'Brien's character. <laughs> well, uh, I don't have cable either, but I have a lot of nieces and nephews now. Uh, and uh, one thing I can count on when we go on vacation to see them and stuff is I am going to be seeing a lot of Disney Channel. <laughs> Not that I mind, though. I'm a giant kid at heart, so... I actually, I have to say, of all of the, the, the little kid shows right now, you know, Disney Channel is a top notch right now. And, you know, it, it's kind of one of those things of like, um, you know, well, how do you know and stuff? You, it, kids oh, yeah. move around a lot. So you'll be sitting there, and you'll end up starting to watch the television show without realizing that they're no longer in the room. Or you're afraid to change it because you're like, well, what if I change it, and then they come back, and then they want the TV back? I mean, what's the point then? So... But, uh, I actually don't know a lot of- I looked up Marisha's stuff before. She does more stuff in TV, I think. Who am I missing? Uh, you know, then, you know, Ashley does, you know, the voice for, uh, Ellie from The Last of Us. And I can't. I can't think of a video game at the top of my head that Talison's been in. He does a lot of anime. But of course, I can't think of anything at the top of my head. Like, they do so many voices that they're, you know. And I say anime, but they've, they've done other stuff. I haven't been up here, I don't think. Have I been up here? I don't think I've been up here. <laughs> hey, I finally killed one of those. Um, you haven't seen or played The Last of Us. That is interesting. Um, just because it's pretty popular like I like it I'm going to have the unpopular opinion though that I don't think The Last of Us is of course I don't know it's a certain type of game that I don't know it, it's okay I didn't really care for the mechanics or anything like that though I mean they're pretty standard and I guess I I had it ruined for me because of the fans, honestly. Like, I was expecting something different with the way everyone was talking. Um, honestly, I don't think a lot of the really diehard fans of The Last of Us know what survival means. In my opinion, it's not being hit five times with a bullet and getting killed that way. Um, like, let me rephrase that. It's basically to them the difference between getting hit by five bullets or ten bullets to get killed, it feels like. Um, but, yeah, so everyone told me, it's like, oh, it's, this, it's a survival zombie game, and I'm like, oh, that sounds great! Sounds so awesome! And, uh, no, it is not a survival game. At all. I mean, you need to survive in it, but here, here's my idea of a survival game. You actually need to, you know, go out into the wilderness and do things to survive. Like, get food and water, and not because the game necessarily tells you to, per se. It's like, there's, in my opinion, gauges or indications that you're needing food or something, and you need to go and fix that. Um, 
I would cons- well, I don't know, I haven't seen enough of that. Uh, honestly, that new game, The Raft, I would consider a survival game. Um, not a most interesting one. Honestly, the epitome of a survival game to me is Lost in Blue, but it was this little tiny um, DS game, not even 3DS, DS game that I'm sure not many people played. Yeah, I'm not surprised with the- it was a game that I found when I was really young, um, and I've never heard anyone else talk about it, but I loved it to pieces. I played the absolute crap out of that game. Um, I would love to stream it if I can figure out a way to stream a DS game. But until then, yeah. If, if I ever get the ability to stream a DS game, then I'll, I'll definitely... Because I still have it, of course. I should play that. I haven't played that in so long. But... Whoa. That's a long time. To me, anyways. Because I... My first video game system to me, of course some people might not consider it a legit video game system, was the Game Boy Advance. Um, I would have gotten a, a Game Boy Color and stuff, but uh, my father, bless his heart, uh, believes that well, not anymore. He just doesn't... He, you know, had a long... It was. I had to convince him that video games weren't just the devil. <laughs> so... Yeah, I had to work for my video games. <sighs> Let's see. Uh, Aegis Dagger. A dagger that includes a gauntlet to protect the user's fist. Oh, that's cool. If used effectively, it can deflect attacks and it also boosts the bearer's evasion rate. Oh, yeah, that's significantly better. Yeah, let's see. I've owned... I think I've owned every single Nintendo handheld system after the Game Boy Advance. I mean, give or take. Like, not like... I don't have, like, a 2DS. Because that would... Oh, he fled. Because I would just... I don't know. I, I don't have, like, every single iteration of every single platform. That would be crazy. Um, nah, I... You know, I had an, an Advance and... I played the garbage out of that thing to the point that it literally- I, I actually broke a Nintendo device. Hmm. Yeah, my- my mom is- she's neutral with games. Um, I mean, she really liked arcade games when she was younger. Um, but... Um... She was kind of my inside person, kind of like working for me <laughs> on the inside to help me to be able to play video games. Um, and also, I have a little brother who's about 11 years younger than me, and he was able to play video games since forever. Um, and it is because of me, so he better appreciate it. I had to suffer. I suffered for him. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was a return point. No, oh, don't run away from the battle. Yeah, my... My dad is very... Old school? It's a good way of putting it, maybe? Um... And he had a hard life growing up and stuff, so he doesn't... He doesn't do change very well. He, he's a lot better than... He... He's grown a lot. I'll, I'll just say that. Without getting into too much personal stuff.
sexuality. So I've had a Game Boy Advance and I played... Yeah, po Pokemon is what got me into video games. Um, and if my dad didn't necessarily think video games were the devil, he definitely thought Pokemon was the devil. Um, and I am still obsessed with Pokemon to this day. Uh, not as much as I used to be, but you know, it's <laughs> still pretty high up there. Um, so yeah. So basically played Pokemon until I burned out my advance, then I got an SP, and then, you know, DS, and then, uh, 3DS. I think that's, I think that's the progression. Okay, 251, so that's, that's either... So you stop playing either the second gen or the third gen. I think that's the third gen. Oh, the present lord of the citadel is said to be a dutiful man and very popular with the people. Maybe you'll be able to help us. After this little bit, I'm probably, yeah, definitely going to stop for the day after this bit. I want to keep going, but I need food. <laughs> Cinderella is on the other side of the my sleigh woods to my sleigh. I mean, yeah, that's what that looks like uh, to the north of here. The sick and wounded are well cared for, and those with no one else to turn to are warmly received. Oh, um, but we our village was attacked by monsters. We escaped with only the clothes on our backs, so we. Oh, is that all? There's no need to worry about money. Lord Avalo is a man of great benevolence. Oh my. What a great man his lordship truly is. Will I be able to make new friends? Yes, I'm sure you make a lot of friends. Alright, hooray for his lordship. This man will show you to the village. Thank you, thank you so much for everything. Hmm. Hmm, you want to go to Tinderville too, do you? Tenderville? I was just there. No, then what business do you have here in Lonia? I don't know. If you wish to grant entry to the Citadel, you must first state your identity. Uh, we're here with the sacrifice. Sacrifice? My name is Setsuna. I'm traveling to the last lands in order to offer myself up a sacrifice. We have come here in the hope that his lordship will offer us his assistance. What? You should have said so sooner. I hope I have caused no offense. Please enter. Lord Avalu is in the ca castle to the north of town. The monsters used to attack this town too, like all the others. But ever since Lord Avalu took over, they've stopped attacking completely. Hmm, something fishy about that. Oh, hey. Yeah, it's already done. Cool. Uh, hey, have you heard about Tinderville? It's run by Lord Avalo as a safe haven for refugees from other towns and villages. Ah, what a wonderful man Lord Avalo is. Mm hmm. Hello. Oops, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Yeah, don't be concerned that a stranger is just running around in your upper part of your house. Oh! This is much livelier. Whoa, who are you? Grumpy looking man. His former lordship, Lord Dynas, was a wonderful man. He's up in the Tenderville. A truly wonderful man, and who we got in exchange? Tut tut, that idiot son of his. No food available. I have lots of food. Hmm. Oh, hello there. I haven't seen any other travelers for a long time. Well, enjoy your stay. I 
I've never lived anywhere apart from here. I doubt there's any other town this safe in the whole world, though. Uh-huh. No one can enter the harbor without his lordship's permission. Uh -huh. This is the daddy snowman. Next, I'm going to make a smaller one. She's going to be the mommy snowman. Okay. Me, I'm playing in the snow with my daughter. We have no need to fear monsters' attacks, so we lead peaceful lives, and it's all thanks to his lordship. Uh-huh. To the north of here are the Mysley Woods. Apparently the woods hold some sort of secret. Mysley sure is a strange name, though. Yep, I agree. Ooh. Mid potion. Whoa, that is a strange device. I served under his former lordship, Lord Dynas, for some 30 years. Back then, monsters attacks were a daily routine. We guards never had a moment's rest. What a strange thing. How was it doing that? I have a feeling this thing is important. Those ingredients you've got there. That's a black sweet potato and... Icicle cucumber, stove, asparagus, and some water broccoli, isn't it? Could you give them to me? Sure. Thank you. This is all I need. I'll cook it up right away. I'd like to give you some, too, so would you wait here a minute? I'll go home and make some and then come right back. Sorry to take so long. Here, please take this. Ah! Flo Flonian vegetable stew? I'll give you the recipe, too, if you want. I couldn't get my hands on the ingredients, so I'm almo I'd almost given up hope. I never dreamed I'd be able to eat it again like this. Thank you so much. Warm stew recipe. Cool. So maybe now I can finally buy some of those things from the chef. I wonder where my wife has gotten to. I have not seen Stargate. I've been a lot safer here since the... It's been a lot safer here since the present Lord took over. I certainly can't deny that. The atmosphere has really changed, though. It's like everyone's constantly on edge. It never felt like this when Lord Dinas was in power. But if everyone's safe, why are they on edge? Hmm, no one here? Oh, I need food soon. Oh, a kid. Two kids. The grown-ups say I should go play outside. Who wants to go outside when it's this cold, though? Go play in the snow, brr, no thanks. My brother can't stand the cold. Really, I'd like to go play outside, but I don't want to leave him by himself. Aww, that's nice of you. search all across the land for a spirit knight on Lord Avalos' orders. All the stones we have today were buried in ancient times. Now we just dig them up and reuse them. A lot of people don't know that, actually. Mm-hmm. I'm suspicious around here. I think Tenderville is great. It's a very noble idea. There's one thing I don't understand, though. How come they don't have to work? What am I doing here working myself to the bone every day, exactly? They don't have to work because they're sick and hurt and stuff. That's supposed to be the point, isn't it? Rude woman. His, His lordship is inside. I shall yell. This lordship is... Uh, what was it again? Oh, right. His lordship is inside. That's it. Yawn. Well, they make an interesting couple. Oh, jeez. His lordship is in the next room. I must ask that you do your utmost to avoid any discourtesy. I won't be discourteous. I'll be discourteous. Oh. Speckled sesame pod. Mm. 
for someone so malevolent, the music is kind of unnerving. talk to you. How about you? Oh. oh, it's Santa. Oh, it's fine then. Ah, welcome. My shelters have explained the situation to me. So you were the next sacrifice. Yes, I am Setsuna. I received word that your ship had sunk and feared the worst. I am relieved to see you are safe. Thank you. There is no need to thank me. In comparison to monsters, humans are weak creatures. Thus, they require protection. A sacrifice you are to offer up your life in order to protect this whole land. As lord of the citadel, I must work to protect my people. Although the difference in scale may be vast, each of us plays a vital role. Yes, that is true. As luck would have it, we still have an operable airship here. Ooh. I shall see that you are taken as close to the last lands as possible. Thank you very much for your kindness. However, certain circumstances prevent me from sending out the airship immediately. Of course. I'm afraid you will have to wait for a little while. Is there something wrong? A ca- A cash? The shipwright is missing. The ship cannot be flown without him. He is a skilled man, but a difficult one. Where on earth would he have hidden himself? Anyway, my men will find him. As soon as they do, I shall have the ship ready for, your, for you post-haste. Until then, please make yourself comfortable here in the town. Uh-huh. Is that it? The former lord was a foolish, incompetent man. He made many grave errors. Your dad? And who must suffer the consequences for those errors? The townspeople, of course. Uh-huh. Hmm, so the shipwright's gone missing. I hope nothing sinister is going on. Sinister? It's been quite a while now since we set out on our journey. All this time, the monsters have been increasing in number and growing ever more ferocious. I hope we don't end up having to find another way to continue our journey. Damn, you're all doom and gloom, aren't you? Well, just have to do everything we can to make sure that doesn't happen. Yeah, let's look for Akash. Akash? Yeah. yeah, good idea. It's better than waiting around here anyway. I ain't got a clue how we're gonna set about looking for a shipwright we've never, we've never ever met. But if we find just one lead, that should help speed up our departure that a little bit. Let's try asking around and see if any of the townspeople know where this Akash might be. Ah, oh, my throat's starting to hurt. Yes, you're right. Someone might know something, so let's have a look around the town. How about you? Do you know something? That cursed Akash, off hiding somewhere, shrieking his duties, no doubt. Our role is to trust in Lord Avo Av Avalo and to do as he bids. No more, no less. Right. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to actually stop here. I'm going to go save because my throat is now very sore and I need food. Um, so yeah, save. Boop. Um, yeah, sorry Priscilla again for the weird times, uh, but thank you for joining the last little bit. Mm, stretch, an opportune stretch. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, links to things are down at the bottom. Uh, like, follow, subscribe. Um, always welcome comments. Um, yeah, see you later Priscilla. Um, yeah, and like I said, my times are going to be all over the place from here on out, probably, so, um, I'll make everything, I'll, po I'll, I'll post when I'll air, um, at least 30 minutes in advance, um, on Twitter. I will try to do it as early, earlier than that, um, but I will always post something 30 minutes beforehand. Um. So, yeah, I think that's it. So, thank you again, and see ya.